Hey, good morning, Nassim. It's coffee time. Coffee. Good morning, Adrian. Salut, Crystal. Crystal. Good morning. So everyone uh, has a coffee. We can have a coffee together. Just got my coffee. Hello. Uh, Nessa Bogdan. Memory. Yeah, just having a coffee, nothing else. Good morning. One second. So, uh, how is everyone? <laughs> hey, Nassim. You know, it's just uh, it's just a trick, uh, Nassim. You should know there is a coil. Obviously, the coil was removed. You mean the the first one, yeah? The first uh, the first one we removed the coil. So obviously, we add the coil on a different uh, part of the circuit. Good morning, guys. I'm having an Irish coffee. I haven't tried it. Yugoslavia, good morning. France. Uh, loco, it's about 10 o'clock. Joseph, London calling here. Good morning. Cold here in the Sweden, tonic. Drinking coffee and smoking rosin. Wow, that that's, you know, that's perfect. Tech, sorry, I need help. Yeah, I I need the help uh, as well. You know, I want to buy a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, so I need help. <laughs> you see, that's how the help works. All the help is on YouTube. There are like seven hundred videos. You should find help there. Good morning. You'll be watching the rugby today. Um, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not with the with the sport thingy. Serbia, Belgrade. Good morning. <clears throat> you need a Lenovo laptop housing. Probably the eBay is the best place to to check. Vlad, salut. Good morning, uh, David. Bogdan, we fix motherboard sometimes. Where I can get tech? Check eBay. Junaid from Pakistan, drinking tea. Oh, it's afternoon there. Okay. Good morning from Kosovo. Good morning. Crystal service. Am o cafea, beau cafea atât atât în dimineața asta. Salutări din Vaslui, salut Iulian. Salutări din Cluj, Horatiu, salut. Hi from Greece. Algerian. Let's go in a new project. No more projects. Hi from Bulgaria. It's a nice country, Bulgaria. So how is everyone? Hmm? 
everyone has a nice Saturday. Libya, good morning. Nepal, good morning. Callum, good morning. Dundee, Scotland, good morning. Croatia. I want to go there in Croatia on the Pool Island. I have one moderator is from there. Asus ROG laptop, what button to get into the Biosat startup? If I remember the last one, you have to press escape and you have the menu. 5 a.m. in New York. Good morning. Brooklyn Joe. Just, you know, grab a coffee and uh, let's have a coffee together. Finland. Good morning, Joha. Germany. Fine. Good morning. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. Hello from India. Good morning. Or good afternoon on in India. Yeah, Bobos. Finally, Saturday enjoying. That's nice. That's that's nice. Yash Romania, good morning. Algeria, Ethiopia. Please make a video how to use our oscilloscope. Uh, I promise I will make a video as soon as I will have our oscilloscope. I'm, I plan to buy one, you know, especially like on the video from uh, a few days ago. And I feel I, I felt like I'm missing our oscilloscope. Benzi, good morning. Yeah, only coffee. Dark affair. Technics Optics in Belgrade, Turkish coffee. A Turkish coffee is the one, the strong one, yeah? On uh, Made on the sand, if I remember. Early morning greetings from Philadelphia. Uh, good morning. Uh, Unicutra, blah. You know what? It's, um, <clears throat> the oscilloscope is good on the learning process because you actually you can see a signal. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's good to know how some signals looks like. Uh, Adrian, a doua oară când mă întrebe asta, am răspuns data trecută, mai m-a întrebat lumea, dacă îl fac în română, singurii care înțeleg sunt românii. Dacă îl fac în engleză, înțelege toată planeta. Asta e ideea, nimic altceva. I feel bad when placing a order for just one capacitor. Yeah, you know, with the capacitor, you always need the capacitor. So if you have to buy one, just buy ten. Uh, what coffee I'm drinking? Um, uh, I have the Starbucks coffee, the light roast one. I think they call blonde uh, blonde roast. A, nu e nicio problemă, Adrian, nu trebuie să-și cer scuze, nu e nicio problemă, dar, mă rog, asta, asta era ideea. Oricum am, ai nevoie de engleză în viață, așa că mi se pare mult mai ok să încerci să înveți engleză, să o înțelegi. 
Hello, good morning from Greece. Yeah, good morning, guys. My friend gave me a Dell IO PC, all in one. Phones uh, blow non stop and no image on the screen. I check for sh obviously there is no short yeah so your computer is coming on but you have no picture actually this is the worst fault yeah so it's it is the worst fault because you have no idea what's the problem so all what you can try to do is to try to reprogram the the BIOS and the IO chip because otherwise you can't figure it out it can be a chipset can be a CPU can be a graphics can be anything Adrian, mulțumesc frumos. A fost o glumă. Era, era o glumă, Adrian. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for your donation. Morning from Finland. Come to Turkey for holiday. You know, I wish. I wish to have uh, time to start, you know, traveling around the world. I want to see Japan. I, I, I'm, I'm like, you know, it's like I want to see the Japan. Uh, Joseph, one wine, beer, or work or uh, vodka, whiskey, whiskey, and it's 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 uh, a, a special whiskey. Uh, no, the bottle is it's 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 gone. Uh, it's called Ardmore, and it's a uh, single. Um, I I don't remember, but I I bought it from Morrison, and actually only that whiskey I'm I'm buying. Better Palinka, yeah, but no Palinka here. <clears throat> morning, Middle England. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Okay, now realize who it is. Good morning. Just having a coffee, you know, speaking about some stuff. Dex Commander, good morning. Hmm. How are you today? Single malts, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Single malts, yeah, that was the name I'm, I was looking for, yeah. Did you fix our LG monitor with horizontal lines every two seconds? You know, when the screen has lines, it's not much that you can do. You can try to, you can try some tricks with hot air, but it's not much what you can do. Zambia, good morning. No croissant with your coffee? When I'll go to France, I'll have croissant with coffee. Uh, that's Omar. Is there an unlock method from MacBook T2? Uh, if it is, I don't know. I don't know about any unlock method for uh, for T2 SMCs. But if you know, just tell us. I know, Calum. I know, I know, I know it's you. I know. I'm... Uh, you know, I was uh, hoping to catch you over the air on some point, but I took a small break from uh, from the hobby. You keep forgetting sending that amplifier. Yeah, you can send it. If you try already, like how we spoke last time, if you try with a battery and it's doing the same, then yeah, 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 we can have a look. Omar, sorry you delete my comment. I never delete comments, yeah? So if you have a comment deleted, it's deleted by YouTube. So I've seen mistakes people using one word, dot, 
and another word. And um, the YouTube, it will take this like a, a, a link and they will delete the message. They will not delete it. They will put it on the on a different list, yeah, like hidden comments. Same with the video links. So I'm not deleting comments. Sorry, do you have a coffee mug heater? I don't, but I seen uh, I seen a review about uh, you know heated uh, coffee mugs. Hello from Crimea. Good morning. I remember that that JBL uh, speaker with the with the charging port. You mean, yeah? Uganda, good morning, uh, Alan. You need a better microscope. I mean, the cheapest one is the, you know, the Amscope uh, microscope. I mean, I'm the cheapest decent. I mean, decent, because you want the decent one. Ah, you try already. Okay. The half of the amp protection circuit broken. We can fix that. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, grab a coffee because uh, it's Saturday morning. Good morning from Portugal. Uh, can be the cooling fans be repaired or just uh, has to be replaced? You know, depends. Sometimes they just need grease. Yeah, you have to. I don't know. I'm using. Uh, I have. I have some some uh, oil. Actually, this is for uh, after run oil from a RC car. But it's kind of like the swing machines oil. It's or for a car like. Uh, a winter oil, which is, you know, is more fluid. And uh, I fixed, like, last, last, uh, yeah, a few days ago, I fixed my fan with just a little bit of oil, and it's working great. I have a heater here. <laughs> I mean, can be, like, faulty bearings on the fans, but I fix a lot of fans just by, uh, you know, a little bit of oil and... Or grease. You can use grease. Grease is even better if you can open the fan. You should try Turkish or Arabic coffee. I did try Turkish in the past. I did try it. But it's too strong for me. Rizvan, salad. Mustafa, can you please have a video how Create adjustable power supply from a 20 volt charger. Try to avoid any switching power supply. I mean, linear power supply are way better. So if you try to do a power supply, try to get like a big transformer, yeah? And from that transformer, you go forward and you build a linear power supply. Yeah, fine watch oil. I don't know about the automatic transmissions. If it's light, yeah, it's okay. Second coffee for me already, Silvio. Uh, I wish to have a cigar like that. But... Hi from Sardinia. Good morning. I think it's a noisy MacBook fan with grease. Yeah, if you can open the fan. If you can open, you can use grease, which is better compared with the oil. But if you cannot open the fan, then, yeah, oil is better. Because you can, uh, you know... Good morning, Australia. Good morning, James. 
Syria, good morning. <clears throat> Komoski, what is other passions? I have so many. I, I can't even, you know, I can't even remember all my passions. Yeah. So, Randy, you test the mechanic portable volt voltage injector uh, injectors. No, stay away from something like that. You're buggy. Stay away from something like that. Stay away, like general rule. Stay away from something which you don't know what is doing. Yeah. So, if you need like a voltage to inject somewhere, just use the power supply. On the power supply, you can read the current. You can read the voltage. I heard about this kind of voltage injector. I mean, it's kind of weird because you cannot inject the current uh, somewhere where you don't have resistance. Well, yeah, you can call voltage injectors. <laughs> T. Komoski, do you like to cook? You know, my other channel, um, my other YouTube channel, Actually, if you go on the about and you check the email address, the email address is Sorin the Cook. So it was meant to be a cooking channel. <laughs> and I changed it on the, on that time on the Helium thing, you remember? And now, now I just left that channel uh, till I will decide what I will do with that channel. But yeah, I like it. Nothing like a fresh copy and a few hits of Rossin in the morning. Yeah, that's right. The very episode about measuring electronics part, parts inside and outside. I think we can do it, yeah. But it's... There are so many videos on YouTube about checking components, you know, electronic components. Hi Sorin, do you have any video about widescreen? I have a bunch. When you're starting a, not a notebook. Widescreen, what the widescreen means? The widescreen means the board passed the test, the startup test. So, most likely, white screen means a faulty screen because you have backlight. Yeah, the backlight, it will not start. If the board, it will not pass the, the, the test when you start the laptop. So, based on the fact you have backlight, uh, so the issue is on the video part. And most likely, it is the screen. So, I will check with a different screen. Donkey, it's 4 p.m. here. Good afternoon, then. It is still morning. We're having a coffee here. Bradley, no, I stopped. Uh, I unplugged my, uh, my helium miners. Can you tell me the, the resolution of your thermal cam? Uh, I believe it's 320 per 200 and something. Yeah, basically 320, yeah. Tell us more about the red BMW we saw in the video. Oh, ho. it's gone for a long time. <clears throat> I improve a lot watching your videos, got better salary. Clevis, that's great, but it's not, you know, I have, you don't have to thank me. You have to thank yourself because you done it.
Good morning. Um, Lexer, can you have a video about the equipment you normally use for repairs? Anything what is working for you is fine. You know, if I tell you what I'm using, it's not helpful. I mean, you can buy anything. The only rule what I said, you know, just buy a linear power supply. Uh, because I have a friend. He bought a bunch of lab switching power supply and all died. Uh, he is using the switching power supply like one year after one year he's buying another one and another one and and there are more aspects here so I said you know just buy a, a linear power supply are not expensive any more magic RF videos plan yes today one today so today I will upload a video with the last test just to make everyone happy so this one will be a easy one it will be related with rf just to please everyone and uh, hopefully i will get a lot of right answers so i will do one more with the with the fm transmitter you remember i told you last time uh, i bought a fm transmitter Uh, Ashi, fun. I'm uh, trying to understand what is your problem. Battery on when plugged in is not open. And when on from the battery, not charging. Um, I'm not sure. Try to give us more details. What is the reason of the PC power on but it's off? What do you mean? It's powering on and then it's going off? That's what you mean? Uh, Danko, Danko H. What is your laptop repair ratio? We can see good repair jobs, but we can't. But many you can actually repair. You know what? I will upload a video. And I said the last time I will make a video. I have a video with uh, things which I didn't fix. It. And I want to do a video about the jobs which I can't fix them. But in the last period of time, it's around like 80% or a little bit of over 80%. I said on the beginning was worse. In November. But now it's okay. Peter, what could be the problem for, I just got a 30 volts 5 amps linear power supply, but I could not adjust the voltage to 19 and 3.3 always on. You cannot adjust the power supply? I mean, if it's a 30 volts power supply, why you cannot adjust the power supply to 19 or 3.3? It doesn't make sense. Did you, uh, not your child, did you turn the secret component wire in the last test to the RF frequency? No. So actually, if you've seen that video, no. It, you know, it was not the point to create a perfect resonate, resonating circuit. Uh, the idea was to use only that wire. But no, I didn't. You see, when I tested a coil, actually the LED was uh, stronger, like the light from the LED. To be honest, I really want your 
Weller soldering ring station. You know what? I I I I I got this like a present from um, a Romanian guy, and uh, I'm very happy with. I mean, it's I haven't used the soldering tweezer. I have soldering tweezer for this, but it, it's it's quite great. It's quite fantastic. I'm happy with uh, with this solder iron. Why do you insist on a linear pole supply over a switching one? You have to understand the switching. What is switching? Switching is something what I hate. You know, I hate so much switching. You have no idea. You know what is a, a switching power supply? It's like a, it's, it's, it's hammering a coil. That's what a switching power supply it is. You know, I'm, I'm getting so angry when it's about switching power supply. It's the same thing like you get a hammer and you smash that coil. It's nothing else. The MOSFETs are so perfect when they they when they are driving the car. You have zero ohms. She, that coil is connected straight to the to, to the plus. It's it's zero. You have a, a coil connected straight to the plus. It's so br brutal. I, that's the that's the word. A switching power supply is so brutal. Probably that's why they are efficient because they are brutal. But it's nothing what you can do with a switching power supply. On the on a repair business, you know what you don't want something brutal. You know you are you are using the power supply, and sometimes you do mistakes. I'm connecting. I'm shorting things. I'm doing mistakes also. When you are doing mistakes, you want a linear power supply. You want a dumb linear power supply. When you will short the the probes, uh, you know it will uh, increase the internal resistance everywhere. Like it's 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 on the transformer, it's increasing the internal resistance. Then you have the transistors on a linear power supply. Then you have a, uh, some resistors on the output. It's how can I explain you? It's uh, uh, I can't explain how how much I hate the switching power supplies. You cannot you cannot take advantage from uh, how can I say it? I always said you know I want a dump power supply, so I'm using the power supply. I'm watching the behavior of the power supply. That's what I'm, I'm watching. I'm testing a circuit. I'm watching what the power supply is, is doing, how it's reacting. I'm not that, I don't have that courage to play with a switching power supply, you know, when, uh, when I repair business. But I hate them. I hate them. Yeah, they are efficient, but not like, not for a low power supply. I'm really sorry. But even if you give me 10 switching power supplies for free, I will not use a switching power supply like a lab power supply. No way. Let me explain you in other words. Let me let me explain you on a, on, a, on a different way, yeah? So you have the switching power supply. And the, the MOSFET is switching the coil. Yeah? It's bouncing that coil, okay? Good. Till here is clear. Now, let's try to think, yeah, one second, for one second. That MOSFET is on the on position. Yeah, that MOSFET is on the on position. You have a... Electric shock, uh, electric, like, it, it suddenly, I don't know, something happened, it's increasing the voltage. What it will happen? The volt, the coil, it will get charged. Yeah, good. Yeah, till now it's good, okay? The coil is getting charged, the coil is getting charged with the extra voltage, yeah? The coil is getting charged with the extra voltage. The feedback, it's on the output. The feedback, it will, no, it will not see the voltage increase, Yeah? Then the, the coil is switched to ground. On that moment, the coil, it will bounce back, and the feedback, it's pointless, you know? It, it, it's too late. It's too late that the coil is bouncing back with the extra charge. 
That's how the things died with the switching power supply. So you understand when the MOSFET is open, there is no control because the feedback is on the output. Yes, on the output, where is the output voltage, there you have a feedback line to the, to the driver. But the coil is getting charged and uh, when, he's, when, he's, when, he, on the, when he's switching to ground, it will bounce back the extra voltage to the circuit and it's too late. Even if the feedback is reacting, it's too late. But yeah, I hate them. Uh, Paolo, three years ago, linear power, <laughs> power supply project, can I use a transformer from a UPS? Um, you know what? You can uh, recoil the transformer. I mean, you can open, you can uh, wire the transformer, the primary, and I believe you can use same amount. No, you cannot use same amount of, but, but oh yeah, you can. You can use the same amount of wire, yeah. <clears throat> uh, can you send me a link to the Discord channel? It's on the description of this video, or live stream, or any video on the description, you have a link to the Discord. PC power supply, 5 volts okay, but not power on. PC, what is the reason? The way how the desktop works is same like laptops. So then from that 5 volts, you have 3.3, you have a startup chip there, which is supposed to start the board. But what you can check, check if you have 3.3 on the power button. You have 3.3? Because if you have 3.3 on the power button, that means your startup chip also has 3.3 and it's not starting because probably it's faulty or... <clears throat> Good morning from Canada. Good morning, Ken. What is... What was the voltage will be at the gate of the first two MOSFETs? 24, around 24, 25. But you focus on the wrong. I mean, just, just forget about checking the voltage on the... Uh, yeah, just see if they are doing what it's supposed to do. They are if they are supposed to pass the current to the main power rail. They are doing that, then it's fine. If they are not doing that, you have to check if you don't have a short circuit, if your second MOSFET is not shorted, if your power man, uh, power management chip, which usually is a BQ chip, is working okay. What about switching power supply from mobile ham radio in your house? I don't have. So the 12 volts one, which is here, is a linear power supply. You remember? You remember I made a video how you can uh, adjust the fan uh, speed. I will never use ham, uh, like a, a ham radio uh, with a switching power supply, never. I will never use a, a ham radio or RF amplifier, which is made with transistors. No. 
the transistor it will not it will never be better compared with the valves when it's about RF. Organ elec. Uh, those are fairy tales, yeah. Free energy devices are fairy tales. So let's try to be real. Uh, Omar, uh, I'm starting uh, Brashov, no in Bucharest. Twelve volts power supply, not your child. Twelve volts power supply, yeah. The Icon seven thousand three hundred is working with twelve volts. So I do have a video with that power supply. I modify that power supply with uh, so to be able to adjust the fan. MP, salute. Have a problem with my HP. I changed the to pin. Uh, Tubo, I don't really understand. Solar panels are free energy. Yeah, but to build a solar panel, you have to use some energy, right? You mean free energy like uh, solar power? Okay, the, I, that, that I can understand. Ajay, hello. Good morning. I finished my coffee, guys. So we've been here 43 minutes only. Get bigger cup next time. Yeah. This is my second. No, it's not my second one. It's my third coffee for today. Uh, Silvio, can you explain why you mentioned the free energy? It was just a, you know, a thing to say. You know, free energy is not free energy. <laughs> it was a resonating circuit. It was just, you know. When you will upload the failed repair videos, I will do it. Oh, I promise I will do it. Well, they have a bunch here with, you know, things which I could not fix them. I mean, not all videos are meant to be uploaded to YouTube. But I do record every repair just to be protected against, I don't know, something dodgy. We have in the past cases, okay, the customer accuses us, okay, you, you scratch my device. Or, I don't know, something else. But if you have a video, then, uh, you know, you have a proof. Good morning from Nigeria. Good morning. Please, do you have any experience so you can control cards? I do have a video with, uh, <laughs> with, with a card like that. Yeah, I do have a video. 
if I remember, uh, I don't remember the name of the video, but I did try to fix a card uh, like that, and I get stuck when it was about uh, the microcontroller. What camera I'm using from shoot, for shooting video? It's a Sony 6400. <clears throat> okay, so everyone finished the coffee? Ajay Komar, if we remove the capacitor, you have to put a new capacitor there. Why you don't test yourself? Because, you know, you don't have to believe me. Test yourself. Try to remove one, try to remove two, try to remove three, and see what is happening. But usually, when you remove a component, you have to replace it, because the circuit was designed to work with that component. Da Chris, good morning from Germany, good morning. Hello from Denmark, good morning. Can a charging IC stop a laptop from displaying? Uh, not sure. I mean, I know the charging IC has clock and data and is speaking with the IO chip. Probably not. Probably not. Are you streaming from OBS? Yeah. Yeah, I have the OBS software. Uh, actually fun. You know what? You know what is funny? I done the same. I done the same um, few weeks ago when I re no we might we 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 the laptop with the one which we replaced the keyboard by mistake. Yeah, by mistake, I uh, invert the plus and minus on the input, and the second MOSFET got shorted. So I suggest. To check uh, to check the the input MOSFETs and see if they are shorted or not. I mean, I didn't expect it. I mean, I, I was thinking they are protected against inverse voltage, but it's not. When I connect the charger to a laptop motherboard, the CPU gets hot. What could be the reason? I mean, it's getting hot because the laptop comes on, because that's kind of normal. Or it's getting hot and the laptop is off. Because if it's off, then you should, uh, you should check the MOSFETs. You know, maybe one is shorted and it's, uh, you actually are pushing 19 volts on a CPU. <clears throat> Can we make a video about newer schematics? Uh, 
you know the new laptops yeah they have a new design okay i understand what you mean but the parts what we can repair are the same like the power supply is around you have the charging the io chip they are the same you, you cannot fix anyway but I, you know like the cpu or the chipset Okay, guys, so everyone finished the coffee? Everyone finished the coffee? Uh, Ram S. No, I don't have. I don't have a video about fixing a keyboard. Sadly, I don't have. I have a type laptop but I can't locate the two monsters from the main power Clinton Clinton yeah you take the beeping you switch to beeping and you use a probe to the plus on the charging port and with this with the other one you check on the laptop till the moment is beeping ah sorry this is the power supply you know what I mean that's all that's how you find components yeah the plus on the charging port and with the other one you test on the board till it's beeping. Simple. Are those live streams every Saturday morning? It's you know, it's about Saturday having a coffee together. Hello, hello guys. Mexico, good morning. Marius Multimask. Where can I find schematic for HP Z book? Uh, Speak Cat. Try on our Discord, yeah? Maybe someone has the schematic and can share it with you. Did you ask on our Discord? Nail. <laughs> like your comments about Valve RF amplifiers. You know how it is. It is the same hate I, what I have regarding the switching power supply. When I see a solid state RF amplifier, I can't even watch the specification. I can't watch them. There's no way I can't. It's like, you know, it's it, it's getting me blind. I can't watch the specification of a solid state amplifier, RF amplifier. I can't. Because I know, you know, I know where, where is the technology regarding the RF. I mean, the transistors are so so bad in RF, they, they put so many protections, because as soon as you have a bad uh, SWR, the transistor, it will blow up. So there are so many protections there to take care of the transistors. And meanwhile, the valves, the tubes, they have no problem, no issues whatsoever.
Load the lol. I have a PSU 50A volts, 40 amps. You know, probably I will stay away from that power supply, you know, 40 amps. Can is minus 29 degrees here. Wow. Where is where is minus twenty nine? Ottawa, Canada. Pretty cold there. <laughs> Uh, I fix systems. Explain about this to motherboards. You know what? I will do a video. So soon as I will have a motherboard uh, uh, to be repaired, I will do a video about that. I mean, I, I kind of the same with uh, with the laptops. But the main power rail is coming from 12 volts. Basically, it's kind of like a TV motherboard. You have a low power, uh, low uh, power supply, low current power supply, and uh, you press the power button, and the IO chip is starting the big power supply. And when the big power supply is starting, it's providing 12 volts to every power supply and uh, 5 volts. Finish my cigar already. Yeah. Ash and zero grade. Ash a free. Uma bunda plaja. Okay, guys. Um, I think I will stop now. Going to have a cigar at myself and. Uh, Uh, trying to do something useful today. We have our coffee. Right? Frank, thank you very much. You too. Have a nice weekend. Okay, guys. Uh, let's do some work today. Which soldering wire do you use? Uh, I have this one and I'm quite happy. I really don't like, you know, these branded things like mechanic. But this uh, solder wire is getting melted around 270 or 280 degrees, which, uh, which is okay. I mean, it's fine. 0 0.5 millimeters. It's like all around, good all around. For phones and laptops, we 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 lead, yeah, is leaded. We plan, yeah, lead. Drinking coffee without cigarettes is a torture. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know, but I cannot smoke inside of the house. I found some cheap adjustable power supplies on AliExpress. You know, cheap. It's it's all about to stay away from the switching. Yeah, so if you buy a linear one, if they are linear, there. You can even resell them on, on eBay. I did not see many linear power supply on eBay. Okay, guys. I will say thank you for being here to have a coffee together. I wish you a beautiful day.
and a fantastic weekend. Yeah. Coffee and vaping. Vaping are great combo. Yeah, but it's, it's not the same like with the cigarette. I know what you mean, but it's not the same. <laughs> okay. So thank you for being here and uh, see you next time. Yeah. Bye.